Hey guys, today we are installing this Ubiquiti access point outside of my shed here to extend my mesh Wi-Fi network so I have strong, reliable internet in my shed and all around my two acres of property. We're going to start off by looking at what's included, then we're going to add it to my network and get it configured and tested before installing it here outside. Lastly, we're going to do some speed tests, followed by a winter update. So you guys might remember, I installed a couple of Wi-Fi access points in my house a few years back. They continue to work perfectly, and to see this install and their settings, do check out that video. The problem is though, I don't have a very strong Wi-Fi signal in the far back of my yard or even in my shed. I often hang out there to work on projects. I like to listen to music when I'm out there, chat with my folks on FaceTime, or even watch some IPTV. It's important to note though that I do have an Ethernet cable buried from my house to my shed, and I'm gonna be taking full advantage of that when I install this access point. Links for the cable and everything seen here today can be found in the description below. So opening this up, we have the user manual, of course, and this is the access point itself, followed by the install bracket and the install mount and a couple of antennas. There is also a power cord and a PoE injector. Lastly, a couple of install screws and zip ties. Now, when we open up the cover here on the bottom of the device, we have an Ethernet port. This is where I'll connect it to my network from my PoE switch. That switch will also provide power to the access point. So for me, I don't need to use the power cord or the PoE injector that came with the unit. Now the mount that I'll be using has a low level installed on it and on the back of the device itself has a bracket and it will slide right into that mount. Here's a quick time lapse of me screwing on the antennas, pretty straightforward. So now that we have the access point connected to my network, let's pop open Ubiquiti's Unify Manager. Let me just log in here. And as you can see, I have two other devices online and this, this software is already installed on my machine because I've been using it now for quite a while. For more information on my configuration, do watch the setup videos I talked about earlier. Okay, cool. So now you can see that the access point is getting picked up and adopted into my mesh network. This means the settings from the other access points are getting copied over to the new device. I don't have to configure anything here. The network name is included so I can go straight from somewhere inside of my house to outside and stay on the same network but just switch access points with no hiccup and no knowledge to me. It just happens automatically. Okay, cool. So it looks like the firmware is updating and we're done. All right, so while we have this app open here, I want to try something new. If I restart the old basement access point, I wonder if the device is connected to it will jump over to the new one. That way I can test it out or will they all just go to the bonus room? Okay, so it looks like they have joined. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, we have a bunch of that joined, excellent. And the last step here before we run outside is to name the access point. Let's call it shed. Okay, cool. So let's run outside and check out some install options and get it uh, installed. Okay, so here we are. It's summertime and we are in the gazebo. I do have the gazebo hardwired from my house. I could install it right here. The other option would be over right here, just outside the shed door. This will be a shorter run to the house. And if I don't get the quality signal that I want in the back of my property, I can always move it to the gazebo. The wire should fit snugly around the weather ceiling. Let's get the mount screwed on. And now let's plug in the access point. The cable is an underground cable and it's thicker than normal. So that's why it looks a little tight here. So now we're going to create a little drip loop and wrap the wire around the top of the mount and then into the shed. And here's how it looks with the door shut. Perfect. Now it's time for some range testing. Okay, let's run and fast forward here to the back corner of my yard, which is about 300, 340 feet away from the shed. Now I'm using Starlink and they have their own specialized speed test. The speed that I'm most interested in is the one between my phone and my network, not my network and the internet. So in that case, I'm going to fast forward through that part of the speed test. Okay, cool. So I think I saw 126 flash by there. 
that's pretty impressive at this distance. And the upload hit 137 for a second and stabilized at about 27, which isn't too bad. So of course, let's push this to the limit. I'm gonna go for a walk down the street and pop into the neighbor's yard and see if I can find the edge of the Wi-Fi boundary. All right, guys, I'm pretty far away here. I'm actually in my neighbor's garden. Okay, so here we are. I think I've got it. My phone's been switching from Wi-Fi to cellular. The signal is pretty weak here. So let's give it a try. I'm about 600 feet away and in the neighbor's yard and you can barely see the shed here through the trees. Okay, so let's try this with one Wi-Fi bar. Okay, cool. So the speed from the router to the internet is still good as expected. I'll fast forward over this to get to the numbers that we're interested in. And here are the download speeds from my router to my phone. Okay, so we're at about 10. That's, that's much slower, but still not bad. Oh, and uh, yeah, it looks like we have dropped out here. We have slipped out of range. Kind of expecting that though, when you're pushing the limits and just sitting at the edge of, edge of the boundary, but I really couldn't be happier. I got the numbers that I wanted within the range that I'll be using the Wi-Fi. All right, guys, it's obviously a few months later and winter and the access point is still working perfectly, even in these freezing cold temperatures here on the Canadian prairies. I've had no issues listening to music over Wi-Fi while riding around on my lawn tractor in all the corners of the two acres. I'm even able to watch IPTV flawlessly. I hope that you found this information helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up and please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.